legend. Mm-hmm. Tell me something about like max speed, that top end that comes from there and what goes on. Yeah, so with max speed, and I'll go back to uh, the pro guys as, as an example. With max speed, it was basically working on the mechanics, number one, just like having good structure once you get to that full speed so you can sustain that top speed, you know, really staying upright, making sure that ground contact is pretty much, you know, right where it needs to be, having the integrity integrity in our in the ankles to really sustain that that quick ground contact time and uh just following through we were doing 40s like following through the whole 40 yards and i know like track you know doing track and field 40 yards isn't necessarily the longest but for us like that was our full speed training and uh the biggest influence with that was like doing a whole bunch of drills to reinforce those upright mechanics um like a skips skips for height skips for distance um also doing like flying sprints like slowly building up and just going to a full speed sprint and just trying to hold that well um and trying to influence that ground contact time i want to go back to that because that's pretty much like when it comes to physical capabilities that was our number one focus you know because okay we're working with d tackle and two dbs their maximum full speed potential to reach that within okay we got 60 days we don't have all this time to just focus on speed and agility we got to work on the strength aspect technique so Let's just focus on getting quick ground contact times, like doing plow metrics, you know, depth drops, um, champion striders, which is a uh, basically broad jumps to single leg broad jumps, like like hopscotch almost. Yeah, you like alternate, two, right? Yeah, alternating. Isn't it like a two legged broad land yeah. on like your right leg? Two land on one, two, two. land on the other one. Like yeah. doing stuff like that pretty much was the biggest influence in helping them reach that that potential um and then number two was just getting reps like these guys were on the football field and maybe like one two three reps on a football field they would get to max speed just talking about the dbs i guarantee Earl, the D tackle, he may have never gotten full speed right. the whole season. Maybe in practice if they were doing a specific drill. But, like, these guys just needed to be exposed to that um, high rate of just athleticism in their body to be able to just keep progressing. Um, yeah, you have to sprint. So you, you got to sprint <laughs> to get faster. So you got to do the thing to get better at the thing, which is right. sounds redundant, but it's a very crucial part and you have to do it uh in a smart way because when you're moving full speed you're very vulnerable and when you're a football player your body is not really used to that so we we had to take it really easy early on like we would early on like we didn't even touch 40 yards until like almost like a month in maybe a couple weeks in we just didn't get to there yet because their bodies just did not they they haven't they weren't adapt for that yeah you so don't we want had those a hamstrings coming yeah <laughs> yeah we don't want that yeah i mean one of the guys he did have a little hamstring twinge that or de tackle or yeah. like he struggled with that and cam actually if now that i think about it he which were injuries influenced from during the football season but it just goes to show like holdovers how, <laughs> yeah holdover injuries just Everyone has to deal with that at yeah, some who's point. Who's not with injured that sport. by the end of the season, right? Yeah, you just <laughs> got to deal with it. It's part of the game. Yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, to put a plan, we just had to get those reps in and, and just hone in on like one to two cues on to help them. How so, to help them? Heard you talk about the ground contact as a big thing with yeah. sprinting. Mm-hmm. You know, going fast, and you also mentioned plyometrics, mm-hmm. and you mentioned. Depth drops, I believe, was one, and I think you might have said hurdle hops, or I may be 
combined Hurt- conversations we had too. Yeah, we may have. <laughs> I, hurdle hops are another one that we use so often. So why depth drops, why hurdle hops when it comes to like max sprint speed? Like what like, is the intention and why that choice? Like when you're doing, like when you're sprinting full speed, each ground contact time, there's a, there's a whole lot of forces going on in a really small amount of time. This is impulse so, too. Yeah, this is this is yeah, this is impulse. It's 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 more so of the capability of resistance at that point. Like the impulse conversation goes for both, but the the ability to resist how much force is happening to your body when you're in full speed to kind of sustain that full speed. Because it's not like in a 40-yard, da- I mean, elite guys, yeah, but not, most 40s, you're kind of holding that top speed for a certain amount of time. You're not purely accelerating the whole time, right? Like elite elite sprinters, like world-class, they can, they can accelerate for a long time. But when you're talking about these football players, they're not going to accelerate for 40 yards. So it's going to take like 15 maybe 20, 22, 25 yards to get to max speed. And then now the game is about how long can you hold that and and resist the forces from slowing you down, basically. Yeah. And, and with those plyometrics, what helps is when you're doing death drops, when you're doing hurdle hops and focusing on getting off the ground quick, you're kind of training the muscles and ligaments to be able to resist a lot of forces in a short amount of time, like holding dumbbells and doing death drops to box jumps, stuff like that to kind of overload that kind of so, scenario. Uh, a few questions. If I'm holding dumbbells, how heavy mm-hmm. of dumbbells am I holding there? Depends on the athlete, but we wouldn't go more than 25 pounds. In each hand, right? In so, each hand. So like a total so of 50 like, pounds. Say like I'm holding... I'm holding 15s. Okay. And I'm def dropping off of a 12 inch box and I'm doing a jump onto a 24 inch box for like three to five reps. Am I still holding the dumbbells yeah. when I jump or do I yeah. drop them when I land? Yeah, you would hold them. Okay. You would hold them, arms straight, um, maybe a slight bend when you're jumping up, but you're holding on the whole time. Got it. Got yeah. it. Um, 